great moments in cinematic history, as if they happened in Hermosa Beach. Yeah, yeah, you like. Hey, you like prime rib? You know, when we get out of here, I'm taking out for a nice prime rib dinner. Would you like that? A little help? Oh, sure. My bad. The Hermosa Shorts Film Festival taking place August 11th through 13th. Go to HermosaShorts.com for scheduling events and more information. Quiet and settle and action! Hey folks, and welcome to Hermosa Shorts. If you're running around town, going to your coffee shop, your favorite restaurant, or your business of choice, and you see one of these, well, that means that Hermosa Shorts is right around the corner. August 11th, 12th, and 13th of this year, at the Hermosa Playhouse, we're gonna have some of the best short films shot by local and international filmmakers. We have workshops going on on independent filmmaking from editing, composing, lighting, you can take these workshops and learn how to make your own movie. And then come on out to the courtyard because we have some great parties going on. A Taste of Hermosa is going to be out there. We're going to have some of the best restaurants in Hermosa Beach. They're going to be showing us their fantastic food. You get to sample it. Budweiser's flowing the beer. We have rocking bands, dancing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Not to mention the best short films in the world. So come on down to Hermosa Shorts this year, August 11th, 12th, and 13th and go to hermosashorts.com for more information. All right, folks, in just a minute, you're gonna see Luiki and McCool. Then we're gonna sit down with Brett Baer. He is the writer, director, and lead actor in Luiki and McCool. We're gonna sit down with Brett. We're gonna find out what it took to make this film. All right, folks, this is it. The best comedy short of 2004, Luiki and McCool, right after this. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you all know me. I'll shoot this short for you, but I value my talent a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. I'll star in a short for three, but I'll produce it and direct it for 10. That's $10,000 for me and my short by itself. For that, you'll get the DVD trailer, the extras, the whole damn thing. The Hermosa Shorts Film Festival taking place August 11th through 13th. Go to hermosashorts.com for scheduling events and more information. Uh, they're all gonna die. Stay tuned for an all new Lewicki and McCool. <laughs> Ham and eggs, Detective Lewicki. Steak and eggs, Detective McCool. You want mm. coffee, boys? No thanks, Betty. We're fine. Coffee, Lewicki? I thought I just said we're fine. Actually, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love some coffee. You would? Wouldn't I? All right, baby, give the man some coffee. Come on, let's go. Move it up to. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. You know what go great with my coffee? What? My delicious breakfast. Sorry, Pally. I'll take care of it. Sorry, folks, LAPD, I need your food. Uh, what? <laughs> Give me your damn food! Oh. Take it. Hey. Thank you. Come on, baby. Beat it, hippie. Give me all your money. Hey, big shot. You better be preparing to cut open a roll and butter some bread with that there, uh, uh, knifey thing. What's that fool? I don't know, it made sense in my head. Your turn. All right, Kimasabi. I want you to stay very still now. I'm just gonna reach behind my back very slowly and pull out my gun. Ah! <laughs> 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 
you tell him that? I don't know. Yeah. Freeze! Ah, oh, come on. Tastes funny. It does? Yeah, taste it. Hey, that ain't bad. Don't hog it. That ain't bad at all. <laughs> hey, 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 where'd that robber go? All right, everybody remain calm. Nobody move. Let's do it. Thanks, Betty. Hey, uh, we ordered a sandwich to go. Washington Street. I think it's Fox Town. I think I know a couple of shortcuts, so. Take a right! The Wiki and McCoon, this is Ted Washo. You best be on your way to 413 East Washington Street. Take a right! Which way do I go? I have no idea. Right, 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 right! Are you sure this is right? 
should get out of here. Yeah. Freeze! LAPD, we need your car! Out of the car, buddy. Yeah, all right, we're cool. Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. Hey, let's, let's roll. Hey, we're cool. We're cool, come on! Hey, we're cool. Let's roll. Got some serious issues there. I'll tell you something. You should probably see somebody about that, cause uh, that ain't right, man. Weird. I saw somebody once. Said I was a latent homosexual. Fancy Oscar. You got your sandwich for you. Excellent. So what, uh, what do I owe you? Uh, six, six fifty. Baby, you got a couple singles? You took everything I got. Oh, yeah. Senor Compadre. Let's see if this guy's got a map. Uh, take a right. Right. Turn, turn left. Left. Uh, uh, turn, turn right. Right. And stop. 
here. Where the hell are we? <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing actually. It turns out this map is a map of Tempe, Arizona. <laughs> So what are we going to do now then, Big Shot? This is it, 413 East Washington. Hey folks, you just watched Luiki and McCool, a short film here, uh, debuted our first year for Hermosa Shorts, and I'm joined with Brett Baer. He is the writer and director of, uh, an actor, lead actor of uh, in Luiki McCool. Well, you are 
The man. No, I'm, the wiki. I'm one of several people. Oh, yeah. uh, myself and my partner Dave. Dave and, Finkel, uh, who's in New York. Exactly, right my, yeah. my writing partner Dave Finkel, who played Lewicki. Yeah. And, oh, uh, he's Lewicki. He's Lewicki. I'm a cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've been called so many worse things than that. It doesn't matter. Um, and uh, Fred Goss, who also directed this with us. Right. Uh, who, uh, he played the waiter. He played the waiter, he got shot, and the old man in the bingo parlor who crossed by. So, some good work, by the way. Yeah, I he, thought... excellent. I, I actually think that when he gets shot, it's one of the funniest moments on the film for me. <laughs> it makes me laugh really hard every time I see it. it he, throws, he throws all the stuff up in the air and goes down in the broadest comedy take I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he did. The, the, the feet just came out from under him. Yeah. And, 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 and it was right when you pulled the gun out and you're like, Oh, come on! Right, right. You know, you're going through your pockets. Dude, it's just funny stuff. Yeah, well, It's very thanks. slapstick, and it's kind of like, you know, from like old-time stuff that just makes you laugh, you know? Yeah, well, Dave and I have a lot of uh, appreciation for silent screen comedy, yeah. Buster Keaton, things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stooges. And we're professional TV writers. We write sitcoms. And uh, after many years of sort of getting frustrated with sort of the rigidity of writing situation comedy, which is very structured, mm -hmm. and where... It's a formula that you follow. It's a, there's a lot of formula yeah. to it. The kind of material you can do for network television, is, it's very limited. You mm -hmm. can't do big, broad slapstick, because uh, they don't want it. And so Dave and I were just like, oh, let's just do something for us. Let's just have a good time. Let's just go out and that's what mess it around. Like. Yeah, so. It looked like that's what it was. It was just a, a bunch of guys <laughs> just having a fun time, yeah. you know? The whole film... 15 minutes of film and it cost us about $4,000 and about half of that was probably buying the car, the red car that we drive around through the streets of the city. <laughs> so, it's, it's, yeah. And, 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 and uh, man, I don't even know where to begin with this. So you, you're, you're flying around, uh, it looks like Skid Row in LA. It is. It's basically the warehouse district down uh, Spring Street, First Street. Um, Terrible area. I mean, like <laughs> we were shooting the scene with the uh, the uh, pimp and the prostitute, yeah, right. and there was a, a a real pimp and a prostitute across the street, watching us and uh, enjoy enjoying what we were doing. So that was fun. Well, you, yeah, there it, were. I had my eleven. Well, at the time, I think he was about six or seven years old. My son Buster, he plays the little is boy. Is he the kid in there? He's the kid oh, in great. the backseat of the car, and he was down there watching the shoots a lot. And every now and then, he'd look down on the ground and say, oh look, there's a, a needle, and it was like a hypodermic needle, we're like, oh, it was a very, it was, it was not. Get in the car, kid. Yeah, it wasn't cool. Uh, my, my stepdaughter played the prostitute, so I guess I'm father of the year. Oh, so, that's yeah. great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's fun, man. And and uh, the models that you guys did right. with the driving the car through there, the bingo yeah. parlor? That was the most painstaking uh, and time consuming. We shot the whole movie in uh, six days mm -hmm. over three and a half years. <laughs> We literally, you we guys, your continuity stayed though. Well, if you watch the film again, you'll realize it didn't. Dave actually lost, I think, about 60 or 70 pounds <laughs> during the time we were shooting. So there are some scenes where he's a lot heavier than in other scenes. And you can't really tell because he's wearing that ski vest, but his yeah, weight fluctuates. His mustache moves all around his face. <laughs> um, at one time, I remember one time he showed up, he's like, I couldn't find my hat. And so he went out and he bought another hat, but it was blue, and the first hat was black, and so uh, things like that were... I didn't notice any they're, of that. They're all over the place. I mean, okay. it's, just, it's a mess. We shot two days in two, uh, uh, Thanksgiving of 2000 is when we shot all the driving stuff around downtown. It was empty, so that yeah, was it great. Was empty. Nobody was around, so we were able to fly around the corner and crash through poles and stuff like that. And then we stopped shooting for, I think... Uh, a year and a half or two years, we just got busy. Did you ever give up on it? Or yes. did you say, we got to finish this? Well, I think there was always that thing like, are we ever going to finish that? Because <laughs> that was a lot of time and energy. We have this giant red car sitting out in front of our house. For what reason? Um, and we, we actually, at one point, uh, Fred, who did all the editing on this, uh, he had a rough cut assembled of a lot of the footage. And uh, his computer crashed. And we lost our entire rough cut. So oh, that no. was a setback. Oh, yeah. So uh, finally, I think we got the gumption to, to put the pieces together and finish what wasn't done. We did one day of shooting uh, over Christmas break, I remember, in the desert. And that was the, de the stuff we did in the desert was just it was Dave, myself, <laughs> Fred, the car, and a jib camera that we brought out there, and the explosive model. Yeah. And that was just the three of us in the middle of the Mojave Desert, just by ourselves, the three of us shooting. God, and it was just like so low budget, so low rent. 
uh, the models that we built were so painful. Wow. They just like we we were both obsessive about the little details, and it looks so <laughs> crappy. It's no, so. No, I think I think that that's that, that that's part of why it works. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't think it looks crappy at all, but it, it's definitely you know it's got a, a, a very campy feel to it, and which right. is perfect for the for what you guys are doing. I think you nailed it. We worked so hard. Like uh, I remember Dave called me in the middle of the night and he was going out of his mind because he was painting a little box of uh, Marlboro cigarettes <laughs> that was literally about, you know, half of your fingernail and he couldn't get the logo right on it. And <laughs> That's uh, great. Yeah, so so uh, it sounds like you have a good partner in Dave Finkel. He's fantastic. He's yeah. he's, uh, he's too bad he couldn't make it out. But yeah, he's in New York right he's now. He's in New York City right now, looking okay. for an apartment. I right. just got back from New York today because we're going to work on the Tina Fey show, Thirty Rock. That, hey, congratulations on that. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Yeah. It's a it's a good show, and we're you know moving to New York is a big uh, step, and we're all kind of freaked out by it. But you should be. We're excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe me. I just you know I, I we just put an application in an apartment that is so small and so expensive, and you're going, what are we doing? This is ridiculous. We're Just remember it's a temporary situation. Right, You're exactly. gonna be back. Yes, well, we have to be back. All right, well, good. Don't go far, man. Okay. Congratulations on the show. That's thank fantastic. You. Thank and you. thank you for bringing Lewicki and McCool to us, because it was Absolutely. it was one of the funniest films that we had, in, and I loved it. Well, thank so you. So it's great, and good luck in New York, man. I appreciate it. The Hermoso uh, Shorts Festival is an awesome thing. I'm glad it's happening. And thanks. There's so many talented people here in the Bay Area. So. You, you guys make it happen. I mean, without you guys, we wouldn't have a festival. So well, thank you for, uh, for being part of it. Absolutely, thank you. All right, man. Brett Baer, the writer, director, lead actor. He does it all, folks. Lewicki and McCool is the movie you just watched. We'll see you next time on Hermosa Shorts. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Hey, thanks. Absolutely. Thanks. That sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> it just sounds exactly the kind of stuff that we like to do. Yeah. You know, just, you know, call, hey, what are you doing Sunday? Right. Like, you know, like, in high school. Yeah. Yeah. With you. Right, I think right. I'm there. Transportation provided by PB Limo. I just want to tell you what we have planned so far. We need a bigger beach. Are we going to close the beaches or not? Yes. No! Only 24 hours. Only 24 hours. Yes. Y'all know me. I'll shoot this short for you, but I value my talent a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. I'll star in a short for three, but I'll produce it and direct it for 10. That's $10,000 for me and my short by itself. For that, you'll get the DVD trailer, the extras, the whole damn thing. The Hermosa Shorts Film Festival taking place August 11 through 13. Go to HermosaShorts.com for scheduling events and more information. They're all going to die.